Hi guys, we spent some time building our new version of Solar Tracker and from now uh, we have Wi-Fi so you can just get the logs, control this device uh, from outside uh, via Wi-Fi uh, device and of course you can just connect every type of uh, driver you want to use in your Solar Tracker and you can use and build your Solar Tracker uh, even in the places where there's a lot of clouds and a lot of semi-clouds days so this device will deal with it uh, in here just con straight connect DC motors let's say 7-8 amperes it's pretty good 10 amperes max but I can just recommend it that if you are building the tracker it is pretty slow device and if you want to use DC motors stronger than 8 amperes that means you have to change your configuration of your some kind of mechanics because maybe it's too fast or maybe you are losing too much power to deal with the tracker tracker is a small device you can just provide about 10 kilowatt peak on one tracker and it will it have to it have to have uh, two motors with about maximum 100 watt Power, and it should be good enough to deal with so small motion like a solar tracker. You have all night to go from the far west to the east and there's no any reason why you have to, you have to do it in 10 seconds, right? So don't spend your energy too much. And even if you want to use a big motors, then you can use a side channel to use the external bridge with let's say 40 amperes or maybe you want to use AC motor, three phase motor uh, via uh, inverters, VFD inverters or even you can just use barge less DC motors in here and this driver will control it so you have the most of the options to deal with, uh, with your tracker and of course this tracker is dual X tracker and also it is able to deal with a single X tracker, even if it has no any um, balancer or maybe uh, some kind of specialized device to deal to to found the the, the fluttering, uh, we are able to use this channel. Those just two logical pins to found the uh, the position, the best position for wind. Uh, so there's no any reason to build something so expensive as in most cases this tracker will deal with it and one inside and why I want to show you some kind of potentiometer in here because there are some small changes and you might be interested on that on them <coughs> of course on the top you have a LCD and you have a two potentiometers in here first one it's used to uh, to change the darkness of this LCD. So if it is too dark, you can just change the position. Or if it, it's flashing too much to you, we can just also change this position, and then you will you will have the the best for you darkness for your LCD. And even if uh, the contrast is not good enough, then you have uh, another potentiometer in here and you can just change the contrast so there's no any reason you have to be worried about how to see it in the in the dark night or see it in the flashing sun right you can just change the configuration in here you see uh, the Wi-Fi module and this Wi-Fi module gave us possibility to build a watchdog from this to our mind board and from our mind board to Wi-Fi so we can see if there is any problem with Wi-Fi and the mind board we can just reset it if it's needed what's inside and if, I guess this is most important for you because in many cases you have a problem with uh, analog anemometer uh, why? a wind sensor why? because in some cases you have to filter the communication in some cases you will uh, just add the Faraday bit to the uh, wire and it will be good enough <clears throat> but in some cases it's not the best option and maybe it's not enough because you have a you know some strong interference around you or maybe just the wind sensor is not the best 
so uh, you want to use it and uh, you can just change the configuration so if you just remove the LCD you see that two are there are two potentiometers I'm sure they're visible and one of them the high and from high side in here uh, it's used to uh, change the voltage of of this channel so you're able to change the voltage power the the, the, the power source of the power source to your anemometer so if you have completely different solution using let's say 10 volt you can just use this potentiometer and just change the voltage that's pretty easy just use this potentiometer and in another case you have the lower side uh, potentiometer and this one is used as a filter so if you have a lot of interferences and for example your wind sensor is standstill or maybe just moving very slow motion and getting on the cable the interferences you, you will see that you are overtaking the threshold of the wind sensor and the tracker will uh, go to the flat position it means that you have to use this potentiometer to change it, to, to just screw it up to maybe uh, it will help, in most cases it helps so we can just use the cheapest uh, wind sensor in the market and if it's not helping then change the wind sensor right and okay and here in channel B you can connect the digital wind sensor so it works like a like a let's say taco and just change uh, move spinning around and sending the signal beep 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 faster or slower then this is the same type of solution like digital uh, wind sensor you can use just B's channel so in such case you can just two different type of wind sensor in the same time on the same board if you have another option just tell me <laughs> right okay and I'm gonna show you how to deal with this, the side communication to uh, to manage the two AC motors and even in worse cases uh, with the two type of inverters one type of inverters is using in European European uh, using uh, the high side of logic so you are uh, changing the, the 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 direction of the motor starting and stopping it uh, using high side level just plus uh, impulse and uh, and the other type uh, the Asian uh, Chinese uh, from Taiwan and in sometimes in, in Australia they are using low side logic in in such cases uh, you can just straight connect it to this uh, to this connector and if you have a high side then you have to use this uh, small device which is changing low to high NPN PMP communication it's pretty cheap about ten dollars on the eBay and you are able to change the uh, type of, of uh, communication I'm gonna show you that in our example and even more one inverter is using uh, 24 volt uh, logic and another one is using 12 volt logic is it possible to deal with them uh, in the in the same times with this board yes it is I'm gonna show you that because the from the right side the red one is using 12 uh, 24 volt logic and high side we are using this red one to to connect it to our controller and to power it up so the plus and minus is connected in here to our device to power it up and uh, from in, in, because of that we to we are using only three three cables to our left hand side inverter just left right and minus and let's see how this work like Every, everything can be done in here we can just go into our manual and in manual mode we are able to move left and right our motors in such way we are changing the direction of our motors connected to this device 24 volt signal high side signal and using these three channels just the minus and the directions uh, we can just control this device 
uh, going left and right. <coughs> okay. So in here, when we have a low side logic, we are able to connect it straight. In such case, when we are using high side logic, we are just using this small device. And that's all. What can we do in here? And as you can see, that we are using three wires left, right, and the speed. So in that inverter, it is also possible. But let's see in this one example. This is the just 20, 12, 24 volt. It's just connected straight to this device and this device to just power it up. And this is just grounding. And those two are the directions. And that one, white one, is just connected to the channel when I can change the speed of our motor. So in such way, when we are dealing with, uh, with our big tracker in a normal tracking mode we are using just speed one and if we are want to we want to just you know change the position to flat this device because of the wind we can use the higher speed speed two and this controller is programmed to do it in such way so you don't have to do anything else you just connect the wires and use it